Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this duplex house. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add our grid lines, our elevation. We set up our level 1 with kitchen, dining, living room, stairs, and washroom. And we added some doors. So in this video, we're going to continue working on this. We're going to add windows, sliding doors, and everything. So we're, I'm just going to zoom in. And then I'm going to click door. And I'm going to look for the sliding. So I'm going to add the sliding door here. And then after that, click on wall, click on this, and then look for a curtain wall. And we're going to add a wall right here. So don't worry about the warning. We're going to deal with that later. We just need to cut it afterwards. I'm going to add a curtain wall here and then we're gonna add a window here as well so curtain wall And I want it to be inside. So now, the way we count it is we need to go to modify and click on this cut geometry. So once you click on cut geometry, you need to click on the wall first and then the curtain wall. wall and then curtain wall and then wall and curtain wall once you have that we can now go back to or go to our 3d view and then now we could pull this down like so This is for our washroom. And this is for our sink on our kitchen. So I'm going to use align AL. I'm going to align this and also this one. So both of them are aligned on the top and below. And to finish this off, I'm going to add curtain grid. So I'm going to add curtain grid in the middle. And then the middle here. And for this side, I'm going to put some design here. Like this. And then I'm, I'm going to segment one. To be in the middle of this. And then this one as well. And 
And then after that, I'm going to click on Boolean. We could edit this type and change the material, as you can see. Or we could just use the 50 by 65 right here. And once you do, don't forget to click all grid lines. And then I'll click on the curtain wall. So as you can see, it created this part. And then let's add this one and this one as well. So here, I kind of like to add one in the middle. So I want to go back to architecture and add a curtain grid. That curtain grid, I want it to be one segment so that it only goes like that. So let's go to South Elevation and I want to see it nicely like this. Curtain grid. I want it in the same middle of this. So maybe one segment. Delete element. You know what? I'm going to delete this and one segment like that. I'm going to delete this and then look for so I'm going to remove this for now. All segment. I'm going to use this so it will recognize this grid and this grid and it will go on to the middle. And then once it recognized that, we can now click on the grid and then I want the same grid. So it looks much better. So let's go back to level one. So let's go further with this. I'm just going to add in more table. So I'm going to add this coffee table again, but the smaller one. I'm going to nudge this one like that for the space here. and then go back to architecture picture frame let's add something here go to insert let's load some families Let's add in a dresser or credenza. In here.
and I wanted to add another wall here so I'm gonna click this wall and then click on create similar I'm gonna add the wall right here and then I'm gonna nudge this and then click AL to align and then what I want here is I want to add a closet here so let's add this AL again I made this smaller and go to door and add this bifold. And I'm just nudging this. So for now, I think we finished doing the level one. So in the next video, we're going to start doing level two. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.